this old deck and I have some history. Over 20 years ago, I replaced a good number of the boards and redid all the rails and posts and then finished them off with fresh sealer and some fresh paint. The nails on its deck have really worked themselves loose. You can tell what boards were replaced, but this time we need a lot more than a couple boards. I use the first board as a template to get it started. We swapped out the cedar for a pressure treated because of cost and availability during the shooting of this video. Cedar and grain is very absorbent and should be sealed. All the deck boards are going to be the same length except for a band around the outside. I'm rounding over the cut ends to make it match the radius along the edge band. This pressure treated lumber is very wet. When it dries, it will shrink and the joints between the boards will open up. That's why I use this deck board straightener. You could build one yourself. Just watch this video here. We're going to try and save as much of the rails and posts as we can. These are all the parts I found on the ground. The original rail design used these thin strips to space out the balladers. Just a little bondo to fill some of the old holes. I just laid out one side and then traced it on the other side so they match. Six of these rail sections. I 
I was missing just one post bass piece. I decided to make all new post caps. O oops. So let's see, six posts times four pieces on each post. Oh man, 24 pieces. Maybe a jig to put these post caps together might make it a little bit easier. I nailed it to the table. For real! I'm going to put some pitch on these so the water runs off. Yeah, I think that's good. There you go. made it look like I was rushing a little bit. As you can see, it's pouring rain. And you know, it's getting steady in the middle of the rainstorm. But I had to get this finished. It will leave it halfway done. It's an oil based stain, so it's not going to wash off, but it still sucks. You see, it's starting to get wet. The good news is, I have those lob too. Keeping the rain off for the most part. There you have it. Mix in a little more bondo for all the holes in the post. Make them look good.